All right, coming up next, it is a most anticipated women's strawweight matchup between Alexandra Albu and Joanna Yelmjacek. Man or woman, you are staring at one of the most skilled and talented strikers to ever grace the octagon. And a scary proposition to the rest of the strawweight division because Joanna Yeon Jacek is only getting better now training under American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. This girl is a Muay Thai expert. Very, very high level kickboxing skills with a full arsenal of striking techniques. She is deadly on the feet. Well, she's a fan favorite, and you can see why. If you've seen her hit a speed bag, it's shades of Floyd Mayweather. As much hand speed as any fighter in the women's ranks at present. Punches and bunches, beautiful combinations that more often than not you don't see coming, and it's the accumulation of punches that will really wear down the opposition. Very excited to see this young woman throw hands once again tonight. This girl has outstanding defense and very good blocking technique. It's so difficult to hit her cleanly. It is a big advantage for her, and she has so much confidence in her defense because of that. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record on 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Yorana Yachesha. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Mixed martial artist holding professional record of seven wins, no losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexandra Stitch. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? Ready? Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. So here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Yeung Jacek. She has broken a lot of fighters with her work rate, with her pace. There is no denying the output. Seemingly doesn't get tired. We'll see how Joanna Yeung Jacek starts this challenge tonight. All right, first round is underway, and you better watch out for the overhand punches when you're fighting an opponent of this caliber. It really has become a patented punch of hers, and something that a lot of opponents know is coming, but still can't account for. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range here tonight. That one hurt. Look at that, right to the temple. for the inside leg kick. Well, she got clipped by that hook, Joe, and she is a sitting duck if she's gonna stay in her opponent's striking range. She's gotta get on the tip of her toes, circle away from the power shots, and move those feet. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Albu. Nice jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Hard leg kick. Oh, she lands the left punch. Leg kick checked effectively there by Albu. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Yeon Jaichi. Very good job of timing these punches. 
Under two minutes now to go. Nice jab by Yeon Jaichek. She blocks the shot, Joe. Albu gets hit with a kick. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Oh, big kick lands flush. Hard overhand punch. Leg kick checked by Albu. Under a minute to go. 45 seconds to go here in round one. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Albu gets hit with a flush uppercut there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice shot. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Joanna Yonjacek. Five minutes in the books. Relax, breathe, and recover. Nice work that round. Way to defend yourself. She was very aggressive with the striking. This round. And here's a nice shot. Lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Excellent striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. Second round underway. All right, so round two is underway here. Both women had their moments in that first round. At times, it looked like they were feeling each other out. And there is a lot of mutual respect here, though. So maybe you thought the crowd got a little bit restless at times. Ultimately, these fighters are both elite. A lot of respect on both sides. We'll see if they get after it here to begin round two. Oh, she got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Total strikes. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations. And it's going to take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go. She blocks that offense, Joe. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Well, she has certainly landed a high number of total strikes here in round two. She got the message from the corner to pick up the pace, and maybe it was just a matter of finding that striking rhythm, finding her range. She has certainly found it, Joe Rogan, here in round two. Wow! And she's down! This could be it right here. She's limping. It looks like she's hurt. Well, Joe, I know she's got a lot of faith in her chin, but at what cost? She has shown an increased susceptibility to head kicks by moving right into her opponent's range. That one landed. It landed flush. Let's see if she can adjust. Albu's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. That one hurt. Check that one. Oh, nice hook by Albu. Under a minute to go. Oh! You know, Jacek's kick, that one blocked. She did a real nice job there avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Big punch.
Pew going for the leg kick. Nice to do it there. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. Here's a perfect head kick. And here's another clean shot that lands. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Lots of action in that round. It was impressive. Keep throwing those leg kicks. Look at her leg right now. You see how bruised he is? That's good. Ariane Celeste in the building as usual. She got her head off the center line there, Joe. Slips the punch nicely. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. See the total strikes. Push kick there to the body. Oh, hook to the head by Alpha. Leg kick now. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, beautiful leg kick by her there. Can't take too many of those. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, caught her with the head kick. I mean, if she wants to win this fight, it, it's got to be most likely by knockout or submission, but she's got to stop her. Nice kick there by Dylan Jackson. Oh, lands that punch. She missed with that jab. Nice punch by Dylan Jackson. Those punches are very hard. Went for the inside leg kick. Yeon yeah. <laughs> Jacek's kick to the body is blocked. Pretty good jab there, Joe. Oh, she blocks the punch. trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. And she's down! Ion Jacek gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet, despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, Jacek's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious lip. Yeah. All right, so this one goes the distance. A lot of high-level output and action on one side of this fight. She should be the clear winner. As we await the judges' scorecards, you never know. But this was a decisive effort out of this fighter here tonight. And she is all smiles as she awaits the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Round three, we can see the opening, and boom, the kick lands. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Alexandra Stitch. Well, the finish didn't materialize for her, but that doesn't mean there is any shine off of this victory here tonight. She did everything that she set out to do, and largely I thought her skills in every realm of the game looked more polished and cleaner than ever before in her 